Hi, David Charpentier from the DLNI. Today I'm coming at you from my kitchen and my laptop screen. Why? Well, a very good reason. If you listen carefully, you'll hear there's a bit of an echo. Why is that? Well, the laptop microphone, despite how expensive the laptop is, is not very good. What can we do about it? Well, I'm going to show you today using Adobe Premiere. In this video, I'll teach you how to use the parametric equalizer to remove echo and fix hollow sounding audio. To begin, I've already placed my laptop recorded video and audio into my sequence. Like my previously recorded bit, the audio here is a bit hollow sounding. I always feel sound kind of gets ignored. I mean, when I was working in independent film, it always seemed like the sound recordist was the last guy hired, and his rate was always... Whatever. To fix this, I'll use the parametric equalizer effect. In your project window, go to the effects panel. Under audio effects, you'll find the parametric equalizer. Drag and drop it onto your audio clip. In the source window, under the effects control tab, the parametric equalizer settings appear under audio effects. Click edit and the FX editor window pops up. There are a number of settings denoted by five different bands between the low and high points of the audio track. I can use these points to adjust the volume of certain frequency ranges in my track, which is what I'll do to find and remove the echo points. Let's listen again to the audio and see how the sound wave appears in the window. I always feel sound kind of gets ignored. I mean, when I was working in independent film, it always seemed like the sound recorders. In this area between three and four, there's a sort of bubbling that appears in the sound wave, particularly right after my words appear. This is the range the echo is usually in. I'm going to work with band number four. I'll adjust the width of the band to 20 to capture more of the audio. Then, I'll play the clip back. I'll click and drag band 4 on the audio wave, increasing the volume and moving toward where I think the echo is. I always feel sound kind of gets ignored. I mean, when I was working in independent film... Hear that whistling sound? That's the echo. Let me find where it's the harshest. When I find it, I'm going to lower the volume at this point and hopefully remove the echo. It always seemed like the sound recorder was the last guy hired and his rate was always whatever is left over. I'll do the same thing with band 3. I'll increase the bandwidth to 20, grab the point on my sound graph, raise the volume, and find the whistle. Then, ultimately lower the volume. It's just not that good. It's not saying anything about the guy recording the sound, it's just saying the fact that, you know, we went cheap on it. And then, if it doesn't sound good, well, then it's not perfect. That sounds pretty good. Let me just check around points 5 and 2 to see if there's anything else I can remove. The less echo I get, the better. Film, it always seemed like the sound recorder was the last guy hired. And his rate was always whatever's left over. I mean, and then, you know, you shoot a movie for 30 days and everyone's getting paid and it looks beautiful and then you listen to the sound and it's just not that good. It's not, saying not much on band 5. I'll reset it and try band 2. We went cheap on it. And then, if it doesn't sound good, well, then it's not professional. No one's going to buy the film. If it's an advertisement, no one's going to buy your product. If it's a tutorial for an app or something. A little bit here, so I'll lower the volume. Not quite as much as I did with bands 3 and 4. I'll also adjust band 1's position to make the drop to band 2 more narrow, whereby I won't lose as much of the actual audio I want to keep. Think of it this way. If you sound like you're coming from a tin can... Much better. Let's listen to the beginning again, with the parametric effect fully on. I always feel sound kind of gets ignored. I mean, when I was working in independent film, it always seemed like the sound recorder was the last guy hired. And for comparison's sake, with the effect off. I always feel sound kind of gets ignored. I mean, when I was working in independent film... Let me play around a little to see if I can remove a little more echo. I always feel sound kind of gets ignored. I mean, when I was working in independent film, it always seemed like the sound recorder was the last guy hired, and his rate was always whatever. And that's it. I've pretty much removed all the echo from my laptop recording, and the sound is much more full, all with one effect and a couple of minutes of work. Now, let's let my rant on sound continue. Anything about the guy recording the sound, they're just saying the fact that, you know, we went cheap on it. And then, if it doesn't sound good, well, 
then it's not professional. 